Best scene, Captain Curtin's Adventures. Fade in. It was the best birthday party ever. All the children were busy from start to finish. They took a break from playing to sing happy 12th birthday to Bailey and eat some cake and ice cream. Afterwards, they continued to play and didn't have time to open up presents. Bailey really enjoyed himself. He also enjoyed seeing how much fun all of his family and friends were having. This is the best birthday party yet. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Okay, guys, it's time to get ready for bed. Come on! I've never seen children so excited to go to sleep. They're probably excited to play pranks on each other more than anything. Trust me, dear. They are not excited to sleep. The boys put on their pajamas, brushed their teeth, and went to Bailey's room. Bailey had two friends sleeping over, Jeff and Neil. Okay. Jeff and Neil, I have to tell you something. You might find it hard to believe. What? Like Haley Barnes wants to be your girlfriend? All the boys laughed except Bailey. No. I got it. I would find it hard to believe you still with the bed. All the boys laughed except Bailey. No, this is not about girls or natural body functions. I'm trying to tell you there's an alien living in my curtain. Neil and Jess stop laughing for a few seconds. Look at Bailey and each other and continue laughing. I'm not joking, guys. You can step out now, Captain Curtin. Captain Curtin steps out of the curtain. Jeff isn't phased. Neil is sh in shock. That's a cool trick, Bailey. How did you do that? Is that some kind of 3D hologram? Best prank ever. Jeff, I don't think he's a hologram. Neil starts frantically scratching his back. Hi, boys. Are you ready for an adventure? Neil starts scratching his head. Why are you scratching yourself so much, Neil? I get itchy when I'm nervous. You have nothing to worry about. How does going to a topical beach sound? You can ride around in a jet ski. It actually sounds like a dream come true. Neil stopped scratching himself. Jeff stood there poking Captain Curtin's leg repeatedly to assure himself he was not dreaming. Well, it's Bailey's birthday gift from me. First, lay down if you are sleeping. The boys lay down as if they are sleeping. A button from Captain Curtin's collar glows. Captain Curtin removes the button, sticks it onto the wall, and presses it. It reflects a hologram that looks like all the boys are asleep in the room. Okay guys, put your hands in the middle of a huddle. Everyone puts their hands in the center of a huddle. Captain Curtin hits the button on his left shoulder. Everyone is transported to the Hawaii Islands. Everyone is sitting on what appears to be a six-person jet ski in the ocean. Suddenly, a blue light flashes on all of the boys, and they are wearing swimsuits. Where is Captain Curtin? He is the jet ski. Oh, my feet itch now. Hold on, boys. The jet ski takes off fast. The boys hold on in excitement. 